Hey guys, it's Justin Goodbread, Financially Simple, doing a car video today. I had an interesting call from one of my lifelong friends. This kid and I grew up together. Um, great family, love him to death. I can't give him too much of the details, but here's the short of it. Grandma wanted to make some changes to reduce her income. Really, um, really decided that she really needed to make this happen for some various reasons. And uh, my buddy called me and said, hey Justin, is this even legal? As he began talking about it, it's like, man, yeah, it's perfectly legal. It's just income reduction strategies. Let's talk about what our income taxes are. Let's talk about this, that, and the other. Come to find out we were going to pick up a benefit in some taxation planning to redu reducing your income but well, let's make a number up between four to five hundred thousand dollars over the next 20 years the grandma's in great shape probably gonna live a while got longevity on their family but the bigger issue is the tax the estate tax now we obviously know that taxes will change over some point in the next few years, but all we have now is the known. And we were running the numbers, and I'm like, I understand that we could potentially pick up a four to $500,000 benefit over the next 15, 20 years by making this move, but do you realize that we could end up actually losing somewhere in the neighborhood of $1.8 to $3 million on this estate because of the, the estate tax that this particular state that she lives in carries. And the phone got silent. I said, not only that, but what about the income tax ramifications that we're talking about? And what about the clawback provisions in the event that we have some Medicare, Medicaid issues, or Medicare issues for long-term care reasons in the next couple of years? The phone got silent. And he said, yeah, um, so what I called you about ultimately just went out the window because we had bigger issues and i'm like man that's all the time we always think we know what the problem is until we go to the professional and no matter what industry it's in i mean it can be from the car working our cars our bodies our finances all the different professions we think we know what the problem is until we talk to the professional who does it every day and they identify in like five minutes time usually how our idea and our google search really doesn't make sense. So, hey, look, don't be reactionary in your finance and your business. Let's pull us back to business, okay? Those of you who follow me know I love business owners. In business, oftentimes we hear people on the opposite side of the country, maybe in the same industry, in the opposite side of the state, in the opposite side in the city. And we think that whatever they're doing in their business is going to necessarily work for our business. And that's not true. We had we deal with a thing called microeconomics. And that's I'm not going to go into details of that, but every business has a microeconomic factor to it. And just because your buddy across town, across the South does something, doesn't necessarily mean it's right for you. Again, talk with your team. Remember, CFP, Certified Financial Planner, good, a really good CPA, and a good estate planning attorney or tax attorney. Those three people can, man, they can sure save you a world of hurt if you just listen to them and ask, let them ask you the questions. And they can solve the problem like in a couple of minutes usually because they, they, this is all we do. So thought of a real world example there. Long story short, we're going to end up having a phone call with the attorney and the client and we're trying to find a good CPA for this family. Look, business owners, let's be specific, be um, intentional in our businesses. So guys, that's just in the car for the day. I'm wearing a different shirt. I hope you like it. It's one my wife bought me. I'm not wearing the traditional polo. Let's continue on this journey and let's make life at least financially simple.